Your WXII 12 forecast is always available on the free WXII 12 app. Stay connected with meteorologist Brian Slocum on his Facebook page. It is Friday in October, quite possibly my favorite time of the year, hopefully yours too. We've got some nice fall weather in the forecast and we've still got two full months of the tropical season left and we could have storm number 24 before the weekend is over. This cluster of clouds moving towards Central America has got an 80% chance of becoming a tropical depression over the next two days and that does extend over the next five. A uh, Hurricane Hunter Reconnaissance Aircraft is going to check this out sometime this afternoon, but again, it could be a tropical system here very, very soon, likely before the day is over. Uh, the tropical models kind of take it uh, kind of grazing Central America into the southern Gulf and uh, a number of different steering winds, at least initially kind of move this thing around a little bit. By late next week, there is some uh, school of thought uh, in some of the models that it might start to curve back to the north. Of course, another tropical system is something that the Gulf does not need at this point, it does not appear at least at this point that it is expected to become a hurricane. So any silver lining there. Uh, there is another area of, that may develop. This is a, a weaker system. It is moving west at about 15 to 20 miles per hour and has only a three in 10 chance of developing by early next week. So we'll watch that too. But those are the only two areas of interest. Usually the Caribbean and Southern Gulf are kind of breeding grounds in October for storms. We uh, had Matthew and Michael uh, in recent years develop in those areas and certainly had big effects on the Carolinas. Uh, your beach forecast this weekend one day clearly looks better from a rainfall per, uh, perspective than others. We do have a, a sunny Saturday forecast and a chance for showers and thunderstorms on Sunday. But again, uh, beach in October can be a really nice place to be. Uh, temps this morning still coming down. We are 57 at PTI Airport last hour, now at 55 degrees. Still holding on to 60 in Burlington uh, with some clouds in place, but those clouds will gradually begin to thin out. Uh, the rain is moving out. We didn't have much to begin with. We weren't expecting much to begin with, but a few spotty showers north of I-40 and along the Virginia border uh, developed in the evening hours yesterday and as, along that front as it came through the area. That front is well to our east at this point that area low pressure helping to create the rain but it's moving away and then we have some more cold air that will reinforce our, our, our cool temperatures it'll be in place the next few days temps below average high around 67 or 68 degrees this afternoon will be a sunny day a nice north breeze at 5 to 10 miles per hour and then temperatures will start to crash this evening uh, nice jacket weather certainly uh, might need the hoodie if you're gonna go sit out on the porch uh, later on tonight with temperatures will be in the 50s by about 9 o'clock tonight. 67 in the foothills, wall-to-wall -wall sunshine there for you today. Dried will have a good amount of sun too once uh, the clouds clear over the next couple of hours and a, a sunny weekend in the mountains as well with a high of 56 degrees. Not much rain either on your seven-day forecast. Temps are a little bit cooler tomorrow, especially in the morning. We are forecasting some upper 30s in the mountains, so patchy frost will be possible there the next few mornings. We're back in the 70s Tuesday and ahead of a cold front Wednesday that should get through dry and then cool things down for late next week.